back on. But like I was saying, um, he gave him, oh, the Kundalini is in uh, Peru right now. And what we're seeing from a lot of these, um, from a lot of, uh, especially in the Amazon, which is burning, by the way, interesting, um, which is burning, by the way, we're seeing a lot of uprising in psychedelics, especially uh, ayahuasca, for instance. And ayahuasca is known to bring up these traumas and it's known to heal. And a lot of psychedelics actually have been known to to he to heal with the right intentions and under the right circumstances, if used right. And hold on, don't don't get on me and say, Ooh, you just try to promote drugs. Whoa, like, yeah, bro, like dr do drugs. Yeah, like psychedelics, LSD, yeah, shrooms. No, cut that. We need to use these substances that come from the earth uh, psilocybin, ayahuasca, they, they even said micro dosing in there. So interesting. And then he was able to see it from their point of view. The thing, the thing with these drugs, I don't even want to call them drugs. The things with these medicines, these, these herbs, these blessings from nature around us, they are able to wipe away, help us see without this ego and see from another perspective. And he was able to see from the perspective of the Native Americans who had previously captured it at the time. And when seeing this, he was able to help other people. He was able to lead other people through the way. And before I forget this, I have to say this. At the end, when um, it becomes a spider, a giant spider, and he's chasing everybody around, and then they um they say the law, all things must take the shape or the form that they are. Somebody leave it in the comments below because I don't know what I'm talking about right now. I don't know the quote. But he said the law is all objects must, it must take the shape that it, it, it must take the form of its shape or something like that. So basically like they were calling it, they were saying, oh, you're just a clown. And it, it, it started to form into a clown. They're saying if you're an imposter, you're a mimic. And then it began to, it began to change and it began to small itself down. That's the thing. When we use these words, we don't realize the power that they have. Even when we use them on ourselves, we diminish our own power and make ourselves smaller by giving ourselves these labels, saying we're this, saying we're that. And it takes away our power, just like how the people at the end were taking away its power by giving it all these labels. The thing is, think of the word it. It's so encapsulating. But when you say it is a clown, it becomes just a clown. It is no longer to become a monster. It is no longer to become a zombie. It is no longer to become a, a killer. It becomes a clown. It becomes an imposter, like they kept saying. And that's the thing with these words. And also another thing, at the end, those three lights, the, the Holy Trinity, those three lights were going through its head and then going into the, um. I would say the whole aura of the other person and then making him see the deadlights or whatever. And what was so cool was it went right through the back of his head, out of his mouth and into his aura and the thing about that that was so striking is that negativity was using it. It is the illusion. It is the illusion that they were all seeing. And then when they were able to la label the illusion for what it was, they were able to break it down to size and conquer it. Now, negativity will play in many shapes and forms in your life and will use different vessels, use it, a certain illusion, a certain circumstance in your life, certain people certain just imagery in your life to target you and make you feel a certain kind of way and the thing is once we understand that these situations and we don't look at the illusions anymore we don't look at these uh, illusions that are causing us so much fear and we see it for what it is we are able to get over it and we're able to conquer it right and that's the thing you and all the in the movie oh, man and at the end, the guy, I, I've been talking about forgiveness in, in my past videos. Go ahead and check them out. I've been talking about forgiveness. And the guy at the end, because he keeps blaming himself for his brother dying. And he was like, it's, it's not your fault. You just didn't want to play with him. It's not your fault. And then he had to, his brother died. He felt like his brother died at his hands. And at the end of the movie, he has to kill his brother by drowning him in the water. 
And then his younger self comes to him and he's like, you killed my brother. It's all your fault. It's all your fault. And he's like, no. And then he kills his brother. He changes his memory, ladies and gentlemen. He goes back. The thing is, every time you look back into the past of a memory, you change it. You change it in some shape or form or another. You think of it with a different motion. That's how we need to change our reality. That is how you can change your reality. Instead of living from the perspectives that you had in the past. Instead of thinking back when uh, a certain circumstance had happened to you and it made you feel disempowered. Why not look back at it and change the scenario in your head? It doesn't matter anymore. Empower yourself. Change your timeline. Shift your reality. I know this sounds crazy to y'all, but it's literally that simple. That's what they did to it. They changed it. It was physical to them. It could actually physically harm them, much like how our phys- our mental thoughts, our emotional feelings can harm us just by putting us into negative, um, negative circumstances, negative patterns with deep rooted into our psyche that we continually continuously seek out. We seek out toxic relationships. We seek out uh, toxic people. We seek out toxic behavior patterns. And for some reason, we just don't know why. But the thing is, like that guy, when he said, it's not your fault, it is not your fault for this. It is not your fault. Forgive yourself. Understand that you can change and what happens in the past does not define you, period, period. (laughs) Point blank. I got to make sure my phone doesn't die, y'all. But these circumstances do not define y'all. And they were, as they were changing it, it's like they were changing their, their perception. They were changing their perception of it. And we can do that with these circumstances. We can change the perception of the negativity we're around and see it for what it is. Something to test us, something to see truly how enlightened, quote unquote, or how knowledgeable we are of the reality that encompasses us. Um, is anything else in that video? I mean, in the movie. Man, that, that movie was just, it was so good. Everybody had to face their own trials and it's, it's just like raising into this, this 5D consciousness that we're going toward. If you cannot let go of the trauma, you will be forced to go with it. You will be forced to stay behind with your trauma. Stay behind in these negative patterns. <laughs> the thing is just change your reality. Change the perception of these circumstances around you. The power is in your hands. The po- All they said, all they did was call it what it was to them, which was a clown, which was a mimic. Was just copying all their fears, making their fears a reality. And that's what happened. Um, also, also, also a good point was that one guy, I don't, I haven't seen the first hit, so bear with me now. But the one guy who had the knife and he was just running around stabbing people, I'm pretty sure he was one of their friends or something. But that guy, it's funny, he, he came back to stab them. Some people are not your friends, guys. Some people will come back. Some people will be in the past and then come up and sneak your ass. Literally snuff you out of nowhere. Like, I'm just telling you, protect yourselves, protect your aura. That was just another great symbolism I got out of it. Anything else out of that? Mm, dang, I'm trying to I'm trying to think of anything else. You guys can hit me with some more facts. I feel like I'm forgetting some stuff. But man, th- this movie was really good. I encourage y'all to see it. Um, tell me if y'all want me to do more movie reviews. Like, comment, subscribe. I'm gonna try to get more out. But yeah, and then it took the form of a spider at the end. A spider art as a a symbol, a spider. It's interesting because I've had spiders in my dreams before and it's pretty cool. Like, except it was a spider ape, which is really crazy. Like, the spider ape, like, what the heck is that? But a spider, it's in a web. All of these people were caught into webs. They were caught into a karmic cycle. They were caught into, they were bound by ties, soul ties, all with each other. And that's what brought them together. They, to me, that represents karma in a way. They had a karma with each other, and the only way to 
face the trauma. Oh gosh, guys. This, okay, I can fix this. Okay, cool. The only way to face the trauma was for them to all come back together. And that's ultimately what happened. And they were, they had to release these karmic patterns. And with the spider, you're caught in the web. Oh my gosh, I'm so sorry, guys. I'm so sorry. Okay, I'm so sorry. I just had to get this to charge. But they were caught in the web of the spider, of it. And in connection to it, they were just getting ready to be devoured by the spider, I would say. I'm, I'm kind of going off here, but you, you know what I mean. That's, that's very symbolic. We are all connected to one another. And as we break this web of negativity and this web that seems to cloak everybody in this field of <laughs> depression and anxiety and um, unknowing, you know, just being unaware and ignorance, as one of us separates ourselves from this web, very much all of us are able to uh, separate. So I want to say, you, be the example for everybody else. Like the one guy, he was like, they won't listen to me, but they'll listen to you. And that's when he um, gave him the thing, gave him the root, like ayahuasca root, he microdosed and he was able to see from a different perspective, alternate consciousness. An interesting thing about this is um, alternate, like, get more into an alternate a alternative state of consciousness like meditation i would say it takes you away from this it takes you away from this 3d world that we see in it it brings you closer to yourself just this this universe that you have this world that you live in right here you know it brings you closer to that but as you disconnect from this well this web of just ignorance around us you also free other people around you. The other people were able to help and actually stop it. They gave, they gained the courage to actually stop it, stop it. And another thing, when he says this kills monsters, monsters, if you believe it does. And he believed it kills monsters. And well, you know, he, they ended up killing the monster all because of that action. Man, great movie. I encourage y'all to see it. Great stuff. <laughs> I haven't even seen the first one, so I'm kind of kind of thrown for a loop on all of it. Yeah, really great movie. Uh, y'all take care. Have a blessed day. I'm sorry, y'all. I missed the upload. I missed the upload, but don't worry. I'm going to keep these videos going. Um, but at the same time, I think... Maybe it's best I try to just, um, you know, not just throw out bullcrap videos. Like, I did an update video, but that was kind of serious. I was actually letting y'all know I'm, I'm going to start updating my stuff and whatnot. But, um, yeah. Take care. Peace be with you. All is love. Continue to manifest. As above, so below. Don't do what you know. Be you and be free. Take care, my loves.